All right, welcome to J Sports. This is Jason Lemio. I'm your host. Now, I'm going to go over the Jack Eichel trade, and I know this is like last-minute news. It was last week, and it was huge news in the NHL, NHL world, but I just want to go over it and, and it just go over my thoughts and what's been happening since, and you know, I thought, oh, let me do a video of what's been happening since, but then I realized YouTube, uh, I don't know what was happening. I couldn't upload my videos, but... You know, there you go. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Press that post notification bell. And let's get this started. So, Jack Geico is now a member of the Las Vegas Golden Knights. And Calgary Flames and the Vegas Golden Knights were the last two teams standing. And he gets the surgery he wanted. So, yay for him. Now, Vegas gets him. He gets the surgery. It's expected he'll be out for at least a while now. They're saying they're not betting on him being back on the ice ready to play before the Olympics. So it looks like maybe it might be mid-February or March. So the timeline for the replacement disc and when he'll be back isn't all that set yet. We don't know. And I know that he talked to an MMA fighter who had gotten this. They mentioned it last night in the game, and I just didn't catch it. And and he said, well, I was good. I was feeling good after a couple days after the surgery. We don't know how Eichel's going to feel. We don't know. Is he, he going to feel good? I don't know. It depends. Everybody's body is different. Now, Eichel is happy and Vegas is happy. Although, if you look at the salary cap, you're probably thinking, what? Okay. There are $27 million on the injury, on the, uh, injury reserve because they got Stone, Pacioretty, and now Eichel on the list. So, you're thinking, what the heck are they going to do there? Now, Buffalo gets back a lot. They wanted four first round assets, but they ended up settling for three. So that'll be a first round draft pick, right? Well, not really. It doesn't mean that they'll be a first round draft pick. Alex Tuck is injured himself. He would maybe make his debut before Eichel makes his debut for Vegas. So it's it's more than likely for him. Peyton Krebs is good to go. So he he so they let go of Peyton Krebs and Alex Tuck. That's why I'm mentioning them. Stupid Vegas management. I'm gonna talk about that. He had great opportunities in Vegas, but he just didn't score any points. So maybe they see that as a problem and they're thinking, look, we love Krebs, but he's gotta go. I, I love Krebs. I've loved Peyton Krebs ever, ever since they announced he would be drafted to Vegas. I've loved him ever since. He's one of my favorite players. And I've been so sad to see him go. Peyton Krebs, I love you, man. And thank you for being a part of the Golden Knights. Your sister's awesome at singing, by the way. She loves country. Madison Krebs, make sure you search her channel up and and keep an eye on Peyton in Syracuse, New York. Now, I'd be interested to see how he does in Buffalo. He's a young, talented forward. Apparently, he's going to be in the AHL, though. So not, not very, very great. So for him. I don't know why they would put him on the AHL team, but again, he's excited to be there. They get a 2022 first round pick and it's protected. So that means if Vegas drafts in the top 10, that draft pick shifts to 2022 and the other draft picks as well. There's a 2023 second round draft pick going to Buffalo and there's a 2023 third round draft pick going to Vegas. Those would shift to 2024 in the event that Vegas's pick goes to the top 10 this year. Buffalo did great in this draft. I would say that. I mean, they got a lot. It could make Buffalo good in the future. I mean, Tuck is a good top six option for them. He's an exciting player. And if they can figure out how to use him properly, then he'll be a great addition for for them and he could score a good 20 to 30 goals for them if there's enough consistency there. Now, some feel that Buffalo didn't get much in this draft. They feel like, hey, we didn't get too much. It's it's just not enough. We were supposed to get someone from the Flames or whoever, and it just wasn't enough. Others feel like they adjusted what they were asking for in the first place. Now, if Ike was healthy, you're looking for multiple first round draft picks. That's what's going on. Now, if you're the Knights, you're looking at the $10 million a year, five year, $50 million contract. And you know, you're thinking, all right, now how are we going to figure this out? How are we going to work this out? Because 
again, they're going to be way over the cap, ridiculously over the cap. Let's say Stone and Pacioretty and Patrick and Eichel and all these guys come back. Oh, my God, they're going to be way over the way over the cap. Now, what this does is it gives us a nice fix in the center, down the middle. The Knights have had a a major, major problem down the middle. And we saw it in the playoffs. It was exposed and used by the Canadians. And look, it was a glaring issue. And and everyone can talk about it. Vegas has a problem with depth down the middle. It, it just means that that's what it is. This can mean that Jack Eichel takes his place in the middle. And then another player for the team leaves. This is another misfit that is out in Alex Tuck. And it's another first-round draft pick in Krebs that's out as well. Jack Eichel is one of the top 10 players and centers in the NHL when he's healthy. He wasn't there last year during the pandemic season and, uh, you know, a little before. And Buffalo said, you know, they were saying the whole time, oh, he's fine. And, And even though, I mean, you could see something was off with him. He wasn't playing the same. There was something wrong. Now, Calgary and Vegas were willing to let him get his surgery and that's why they were the 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 top two teams left standing in the negotiations and all of that and so what happened in this saga because i wasn't really here you know i was in the politics world but not in the sports world is they were not letting him get his surgery and Roman Leonard came out and said oh my god you know they're horrible and over there in buffalo and it's just that bad and they were saying you know we're we're not going to uh, the, the media was saying hey it's all about the surgery. And Jack Eichel said on a Sportsnet interview, look, I want my constitutional right. And that's the that's the problem here. I'd like my constitutional right to do what I want with my body. But he also said, look, we're not winning. We're under a new management. There's nothing going on here in this team. I'd like to be traded. And that was in March of 2020, before the pandemic season hit. So now we got something. Now we got something there that's, look, he's been wanting to leave forever. It's the fact that he, it took this long. It took this much negotiating. And for Vegas, I, I you know, Vegas' management is stupider and stupider every day. I mean, you get Kelly McCrimmon and Bill Foley and all these guys. It's like you get a couple dumbasses and you're like, all right, dumbasses, go and do your thing. They got rid of Krebs. Okay, I, I although he's one of my favorite players on the team, I could let that go. How do you let, how do you let a guy like... Alex Tuck go. A guy who can score you 20 to 30 goals. And meanwhile, your trash ass players right now can't even score two a game. Mostly. And last night they did great. But tomorrow night, I guarantee you, it's going to be a whole different game. Whole different story. So I got to put it this way. Okay, I got to put it to you that way. Another issue is, okay, well, they're $10 million. They complain and complain that, oh, we need to make space for new players and Mark Andre Fleury is too much money. It's seven million dollars for one year, by the way, not ten million dollars per year, by the way. And so they got rid of Fleury, and Leonard is a trash goalie. He's okay. Everyone's oh, for those of you who said he's not a top-notch goalie, Leonard's okay. Leonard's not a top-notch goalie. I'm sorry, Leonard lovers, but this whole thing of of them letting Fleury go because oh. Uh, too much money. We we have a cap salary situation. That argument is out the window now that they actually participated in this trade. Look, am I happy to have Eichel? Yeah, I guess I am. The fans seem to like him. But am I happy that they got rid of the flower? No. No. And they kept a trash guy like Leonard? No. I, I think they should have kept Flurry. And this is this is another reason. You You see it. They just got rid of... a a couple guys to make space for 10 mil. So you're telling me if you really wanted to get rid of Alex Tuck this whole time, you couldn't have gotten rid of him and Krebs all together like like that and then keep Flurry and then this whole trade would have happened with Ico and gotten rid of a couple people? You got to be kidding me. You got to be effing kidding me. This is horrible. So there's emotions everywhere, but he's a part of the team and it just shows how stupid Vegas management is. That is... Vegas management doing their dumb dance again and doing their best to show how stupid they are.